Hey guys, this year I made a promise to myself that I was going to prioritize my self-care. I was feeling a little bit burnt out at the, la at the end of last year and I thought what a better way of honoring that promise to myself but as well as sharing it with you guys um, than creating a video series on crystal healing for self-care. Now in this series of videos I'm going to show you some of my favorite personal crystal healing techniques that I do at home to give myself a bit of an energy boost or a cleanse or just give myself some healing and nurturing at times when I need it most. In this first video, I will be taking you into my bathtub. Um, you can probably hear the water running in the background. It's getting ready. You'll see on the coming, um, as this video unfolds, you'll see all the steps taken to create the bath. And I will show you how you can create an amazing healing crystal bath experience for yourself at home. Today what I felt that I really needed was um, cleansing. I'm doing a bit of a detox at the moment where I am eating really well, but I'm also taking herbal supplements to just cleanse out my body. Drinking lots of water, no caffeine, no alcohol, um, very limited meat or no meat and, and very restricted grains as well, um, as, as well as some other things. So. Uh, part of this cleanse is having a bath and you'll notice that in a lot of ritualistic practice whether it be religious or spiritual or for magic or for healing there's always some kind of element of water and cleansing there's something really ritualistic about immersing in water and just cleansing yourself of physically as well as energetically so part of this the purpose of this bath is to cleanse and help my detox process. Part of it is also to feel energized because what I really noticed at the end of last year is that I, I struggle keeping my energy levels up throughout the day. I tend to crash in the afternoon and there's really no reason for me to do that. Yes, I have a busy life like any other working mum, but you know, I'm not running marathons. I do go to the gym every day, but I'm not pushing myself to extremes and um, but I was still feeling really burnt out so I do want to energize as well and the other part is self-love um, we just forget to treat ourselves with as much love as, and respect as what we do our family and friends so cleansing energizing and self-love that now the first step in setting up the bath as you saw from uh, the previous part of the video was actually setting up all the crystals around the edge of the bath like some kind of a, a grid. The crystals that I chose uh, to have around the bath are amethyst which is the purple crystals. Now these, this is really for calming and connecting to my intuition and my, my deep inner state. So this will really help with the relaxation part as well as stepping into a higher vibe and a higher level of consciousness and just acknowledging what it is that I need in this moment. I also used a lot of clear quartz. So this is all the way around the tub um, and it's pointing, it's either pointing in towards me in the tub or it's pointing around the edge of the tub to keep all the energy flowing around. So clear quartz 
this is what's going to channel a lot of cleansing energy and um, clarity and it's it will also carry and connect to the energy from all the other crystals around the tub I've got citrine here which is the yellow stone so all of these citrine points are also pointing in towards me so when we're doing crystal healing we put we face the points the direction we want the energy to flow so if we're working on a client or on ourselves, if we're trying to draw things out of the body, then we use points uh, facing away from the body to draw the toxins or the pain or the trauma out of our bodies. But if I'm, I really wanna draw inwards during this bath, I just wanna soak it all up and nurture myself and absorb all the goodness. So I've got the points facing inwards towards me to deliver all of that energy into the water and into me. I've also got carnelian, which is the orangey red stone. And carnelian is one of my favorite stones for cleansing. I use it a lot on clients. It's also really good for energy and the physical body. So rejuvenating the energy stores, healing the lower organs. So it helps with the detoxification and release process energetically as well as physically, that cleansing process. And then yeah, it, it recharges the batteries and, and um, brings more energy into the body. So they're the crystals that I've placed around the tub and then I have a couple of larger crystals just at the points. I've got some beautiful candles burning to invoke the power and the energy of flame and fire. So I've got the water, I've got the, um, the flame or the fire. I'm looking out at earth, it's absolutely magical, the backdrop, I will have to take a photo and include that in this video as well so you can see what I'm looking at. And I've got the window open with a beautiful breeze flowing in um, to honor and invoke the power of wind in this uh, beautiful bath. So I've sprinkled um, Himalayan rock salt throughout the bath. This really helps in uh, giving my body a um, uh, electrolyte and a mineral hit. So when we're in the water and those salts dissolve, the skin absorbs it all. And salt is actually really good for the body in, in um, helping to absorb liquid and water. So it's a really great idea when you're having a relaxing bath to put some kind of um, a uh, therapeutic salts in the water. Epsom salts, Himalayan rock salts and mineral salts are all really great choices. Mm -hmm. So I've got some beautiful rose petals in here to remind myself that I am worthy of receiving love and giving love to myself and to just add that luxurious element to the bath. The stones that I put inside the water, so these are the stones that I really want to absorb the energies from. Uh, I've got rose quartz here. Now I've talked about rose quartz in previous videos. It's probably my favorite heart chakra stone. I absolutely love it. It's amazing for you know opening the heart chakra and reminding us, I always say this, I'm, I'm sorry if it's repetitive, but I just think of rose quartz as like a mother or grandmother in a stone. And it reminds us that we are capable and worthy of giving and receiving love in giant proportions. So this is, this is what I've put in the bath um, to honor my heart and to remind myself that I'm worthy of that love, including giving that love to myself. And I've got more citrine. I've talked a lot about citrine as well in my videos. It's one of my probably top five healing stones. Citrine is magnificent for energy, vitality, inspiration, motivation. It's that real lift and I think of it as though it carries sunbeams in a stone. It's just that amazing um, bright light energy delivered straight into the water and into my body. I've also got some more car carnelian for that cleansing effect. And a lot of you may not work with this, but I love working with copper. This is a raw copper nugget. Now copper is one of the best energy conductors in the earthly kingdom, which is why you know we use copper wires for um, conducting electricity. And I use it alongside other stones in healing layouts where I really want to maximize the energetic flow and kind of take that energy frequency up to the next level. So I've put the copper in the bath to just amplify all the energy that's flowing around at the moment hopefully delivering it into me and my body with a little bit more power and punch. Incidentally, copper's also used for relieving body aches and pains. Um, so are the salts too. 
a part of me feeling a bit run down last year was I started feeling a bit achy after I went to the gym. My body just didn't seem to be recovering like it used to. So uh, not only do I feel like I need to rejuvenate and look after myself on an emotional and energetic level, but also on a physical level as well, because I don't want to get any injuries and I want to make sure my body's recovering before I continue pushing it any further. So that's what I've chosen to put in the bath. Now another way you might like to um, enhance or facilitate the cleanse process is by choosing some essential oils to help this. So I've got um, lavender piece, it's a doTERRA oil and I have put some in the bath already but I'm just going to put a little bit on my washcloth as well. And I'm just going to massage it over my body and as I'm doing this I'm visualizing the cleanse process. I'm releasing anything that I'm holding on to energetically that I don't need to be, that I'm ready to let go of. You can also run this water over the top of your head and cleanse your crown chakra as well, which is really important. I'm not going to do that today. And you can also dab some oils of your choosing just directly on your chakra points. So my third eye, crown, throat, heart, and down the rest of the chakras as well. And this will honor all of your energetic centers and really help with this cleansing and energizing process. Now that I've got all my beautiful crystals and flowers in place, I'm just going to lie down and I'm going to recite some self-love um, mantras and just show you some breathing techniques that I use to really sink into the moment and give myself the nurturing that I feel like I need. <clears throat> I find that when you're doing healings on yourself, by placing two hands over your heart, it's such a powerful healing to send yourself. Just imagining that you're sending yourself love through the palms of your hands, feeling it flow directly into your heart center, into your love center. Taking some slow, deep breaths. You might even begin to feel the palms of your hand get a little bit warm with all the energy flowing through them. Just channeling this universal love and light energy through your hands and into your body, into your heart. Repeating positive affirmations to yourself. You can do this in your mind or you can do it out loud. I find doing it out loud is more powerful and actually has a stronger vibrational effect. I am worthy of giving and receiving love in giant proportions. My body is a temple and it deserves rest, love and care. this water, I release anything that doesn't serve. I cleanse my being and my body of any energy that no longer serves my path forward and that may be holding me back. 
I release this into the water to be cleansed and carried away. And I invite in the energies of inspiration, love, creativity, vibrancy and health. I welcome these energies into my body with every cell of my being. And I feel this energy flowing throughout my entire body, raising my vibrational state helping me to overcome anything that doesn't serve me, any obstacles in my path, any blockages, so I can move forward with purpose, clarity, determination, and love. And before I leave you today, I'll share with you a couple crystal tips for when you're bathing with crystals. The first one is more of a common sense thing. Don't use sharp crystals. You would hate to slip in the tub and land on a really sharp crystal or sit on it accidentally in the tub. Wouldn't feel nice. We don't want any cuts or injuries. Choose smooth, round, tumbled stones like this that won't hurt. Uh, they're not too big, so if you accidentally slip in the tub and you land on it, it's not going to be too big and cause any injury. Um, and also, choose crystals that are not in their raw form because these will have loose dust and you can't immerse this in water because it will damage the crystal. Some crystals have a really high salt content like selenite and they will dissolve in the tub. So stick to crystals that are polished, very hard, smooth, no cracks or flaws or imperfections. So they won't absorb the water. They're going to be safe and they're going to um, provide the best bathing experience for yourself and for the crystal as well because it won't be damaged afterwards.